Hello and welcome to another episode of the Honda Lab. Honda has developed many safety features over the years that we now may take for granted. Now many of those come standard on every new car sold through Honda's exclusive Honda Sensing Technologies. Today we'll speak to one of the engineers responsible for a new breakthrough in airbag technology. But before we dive into that, here's today's trivia question. Honda is the largest engine manufacturer in the world. How many engines does Honda produce each year? A, 750,000, B, 14 million, or C, 5 million? Back in 1987, the first Honda developed airbag system was an option on the amazing Acura Legend. Of course, today airbags have become standard equipment and this could not have happened without the diligence of development engineers. So joining us here in the Honda lab to tell us more about this new award-winning airbag technology is principal crashworthiness engineer at Honda Research and Development, Eric Hetkamp. Well, Eric, thank you for joining us here today on the lab. Uh, I want to start by asking you if you could speak to Honda's overall commitment to safety. Sure. You know, Honda's initiative of safety for everyone really reaches uh, well beyond uh, just the Honda owners. It extends to uh, the other road users uh, in the field. So vulnerable road users, whether it be cyclists or pedestrians, or even other vehicle owners uh, that we have been able to realize through the ACE body structure, where we're taking our body structures and considering the compatibility with other vehicles on the road. And so safety for everyone is really a infinite mindset and initiative through Honda, where it will continue to evolve from passive safety, you know, 20 years ago when safety for everyone was initially rolled out to now we're getting into the active safety portion. And then who knows what the future will bring, but the mindset is there for safety for everyone. And it's a very empowering one for all associates at Honda that can really take to heart and develop new technologies like this uh, next generation passenger airbag that we're going to talk about today. Perfect. And I actually want to move right into that next generation passenger airbag because I know that that is your <laughs> thing. And I want to start by asking you, what was the motivation uh, behind developing this new airbag? Right. So the motivation really stemmed from the uh, field data analysis where we looked at uh, crashes in the real world and we are still seeing brain injuries occur, even though we solved this problem of, of hick or skull fracture that was uh, seen back in the 70s. We solved that problem, but we're still seeing brain injuries. So uh, through the advancement of biomechanics research, levering, leveraging our partners uh, in the industry, we were able to find there's actually another brain injury metric. And this metric is called BRIC. And it's really looking at uh, diffuse axonal injury in your brain. And that can lead to coma, speech loss, and in a very, very severe case, death. So this new airbag uh, is designed to um, manage and mitigate that uh, new kind of injury. Um, so the, the, the true uh, essence of this came from uh, field data analysis and looking where we can continue to protect uh, our occupants in our vehicles. Fantastic, Eric. Now just, just uh, quickly for those who aren't familiar with either HIC or BRIC, can you give me the layman's terms version of, of what BRIC means uh, to say a passenger? Right, so, so HIC, it stands for Head Injury Criteria. It's trying to predict skull fracture. And that's, let's say you hit your head uh, very hard on the interior component of the vehicle. BRIC stands for Brain Injury Criteria, and it's looking at the uh, shearing of brain tissue. And what it's really looking at is how does your brain move relative to your skull? That's what's causing these high stresses in your brain. Uh, when you see high stresses in your brain, that's when you get down to this very uh, uh, diffuse axonal injury mechanism that we just talked about. Uh, so really, if you think about it from a, uh, a kinematic equivalence in, in the vehicle or uh, in, a, in an occupant in, a, in an accident, it's really the rotation of your head. And it's not just the rotation, it's the velocity at which it rotates. That is what's inducing this injury, this brain injury in your head. And, and that mechanism was what really drove the future design of the next generation passenger airbag. Fantastic. Now, 
I know that this airbag is actually already in production in one of the Acura models, the TLX. So tell us, how has your new airbag, how does it address uh, that motivation, the reason for doing this? Yeah, so the new next generation passenger airbag really is a, a, a paradigm shift or a fundamental shift from uh, kind of the current technology on the road. So today, uh, the airbags are generally one volume and they're kind of shaped like a V from the instrument panel out towards the occupant. This next generation passenger airbag actually is inverted from that in that it is actually has a very wide base against the instrument panel and then it's got a very nice wide uh, catcher's mitt designed to it where the occupant coming into the airbag uh, can come into this soft general engagement through the sail panel technology that we've applied and there's actually an uninflated volume right behind that sail panel uh, so you can kind of gently come into the catcher's mitt and then once you're into the catcher's mitt you have both side lobes uh, of the three chamber airbag design uh, kind of cradling your head and with any uh, oblique vector of loading on the airbag through from the crash event, uh, you're able to kind of manage how much your head rotates. And this is uh, how the new passenger airbag is able to uh, manage this, this brain injury. Fantastic, Eric. Now tell me, I know you have an amazing facility down there. What sort of results have you been seeing with the, with the new airbag? Yeah, the results are impressive. Um, you know, we've seen a 75% reduction in brick. Uh, so that's a, a, an indicator of the level of brain injury that uh, you would see, but a 75% reduction uh, in, in brick is impressive uh, when we compare it from the current technology to this uh, new next generation of technology that is in the TLX. Well, that's wonderful. Eric, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and joining us here today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, earlier we asked you, how many engines do you think Honda produces each year? The company actually makes over 14 million engines every year. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Honda Lab. We'll see you next time.